Hi, this is John Rogers. This video is going to discuss the subject of the new, re fairly recent uh, changes in the, in the building code on the Big Island in particular, and specifically on agriculturally zoned land. Any land that has any type of agricultural zoning is allowed to build up to a 600 square foot barn or storage building without a permit, no permit required. Here are the rules as they are uh, dictated by the county. No plumbing and no electrical are allowed. Um, it's not allowed to be a workshop, uh, unfortunately. Um, that's just how the law is written. What, what you do with your barn or storage facility, should we build one for you, that is, is your business and not ours. But that's, that's just the law as it's written. So basically, you can build this structure. Um, now the county in the law, it does have the right, should someone complain about your building or whatever, they do have the right to inspect it. And if they find that it's not structurally sound, they technically have the right to ask you to either modify it or take it, take it down. So basically, if you're gonna build uh, a structure like this on your ag land, you wanna build it basically to code. Because in the future, you might want to you want you might want to actually um, permit it as a workshop, and that will add value to the value of your property overall. Anything unpermitted basically has zero value for the as far as the bank is concerned. But if you need a storage building on your ag land, you can do up to a 600 square foot uh, storage uh, structure, and we can design and build that for you. And if you have any questions about this, feel free to call us or shoot us an email. We're, we're really excited about this, this liberal change in the law. And now the, the other thing is that a shipping container is considered a storage structure. So you could have up to a 40 foot and a 20 foot shipping container both together on one property because that would be under 600 square feet without a permit. Having two 40 foot containers would not be allowed technically because two, two 40 foot containers is a total of 640 square feet. So it, it's just a little bit over that 600 square foot threshold. So anyway, this is a great law. Before you had to permit a shipping container on any, any land basically. So this is a really good step forward and we're, we're really thrilled about that change in the, in the code. And if you have any questions, again, email us or give us a phone call. Thank you.